In this video, I will show you a list of all the hypercar entries for 2024. This includes all the LMH and LMDH prototypes that are racing across the full season of the WEC and at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. So without any delays, let's talk about hypercar in 2024. First up, we got the number 2 Cadillac. This is the only V-Series R that will race full time. The entry is from Chip Ganassi Racing, and the drivers for it will be Earl Bamber, Alex Lynn, and Sebastian Bourdais for Qatar exclusively. The second Chip Ganassi entry, the number 3 Cadillac, will be featured at Le Mans only. This car primarily races in IMSA, but will feature a driver lineup the likes we saw last year at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. The drivers piloting the car will be Renga van der Zende, Scott Dixon, and Sebastian Bourdais. Also at Le Mans exclusively is the number 4 Porsche. This is one of three factory 963s from Porsche Penske Motorsport. We don't know a lot about this entry, but we do know that IMSA GTP driver for Porsche Matthew Gemini will be one of the drivers. Now we come to the other two factory entries from Porsche Penske Motorsport. This number 5 Porsche has a driver lineup of Matt Campbell, Michael Christensen, and Frederick Makovicki. The sister Porsche, the number 6 car, will also race full time, with the drivers returning from last season, including Kevin Estra, Andre Lottera, and finally Lawrence Vantor. Moving on to the reigning world champions Toyota Gazoo Racing, and there are some noticeable changes to the GR010s for 2024. One of those changes is a brand new matte black livery that will be featured on both of the cars across the season. The number 7 Toyota that will continue to be run by TGR will feature a driver lineup of Kamui Kobayashi, Mike Conway, and Nick DeFries who is joining for this year. Meanwhile, the car that won Le Mans in 2022, the number 8 Toyota, will feature the driver lineup of Sebastian Boemi, Brendan Hartley, and Ryo Harakawa once again. A new addition to the hypercar grid this year is the number 11 Isota Fraschini. This is the only Tipo 6 LMHC on the grid this year. Running the entry will be Team Duquesne, with the drivers being Giancarlo Vernet, Antonio Saravalli, and Carl Watana Bennett. Next up, we have the first of the Hertz Team Jota 963s. This is the number 12 Porsche. It races full-time in the WEC and features a driver lineup of Callum Eilat, Will Stevens, and Norman Nato. Then we have the first of the BMW M Hybrid V8s, which are brand new to the WEC this year. This is the number 15 entry, which is a nod to when BMW won the 1999 edition of Le Mans. The number 15 BMW is run by Team WRT with a driver lineup of GT superstar Raffaele Marchiello, along with Marco Witzman and Dries Vantor, the brother to the number 6 Porsche driver Lawrence Vantor. Next we come to the first of the brand new SC63s. This is the number 19 Lamborghini, and it will only be racing at Le Mans. This entry is actually the IMSA GTP variant of the Lamborghini SC63 and also features the GTP lineup of Andrea Kellarelli, Roman Grosjean, and Matteo Cairelli at Le Mans exclusively. Let's go back to BMW now, and this car on screen is the number 20 BMW M Hybrid V8. Like the sister car, this entry is run by Team WRT, but of course features a different driver lineup. The number 20 BMW will be driven by Robin Freintz, Rene Rast, and Sheldon van der Linde. Also new to Hypercar this year is the brand new Alpine A424. This is the first of two Alpines on the grid this year. This is the number 35 car and it's run by Signatech Alpine. The drivers for this car include Paul Louchetin, Charles Malesi, and Ferdinand Habsburg. The sister car, meanwhile, the number 36 Alpine, will also be run by Signatech Alpine, with a driver lineup of Nicolas Lapierre, Mick Schumacher, and Mathieu Vaxivier. This next entry is the number 38 Porsche 963. This is the second of the two Hertz Team Jota entries. This number 38 car is making its triumphant return to hypercar this season. However, it has a brand new driver lineup. 
Piloting this car will be the 2009 Formula One World Champion Jensen Button, along with Oliver Rasmussen and Phil Hansen. Next, we come to the first of three Ferrari 499P on the grid this year. This car is the number 50 entry. It's continued to run by Ferrari AF Corsa and features a driver lineup of Antonio Fiocco, Miguel Molina, and Nicholas Nielsen. The second Ferrari in hypercar this year is the number 51 car. It's the same entry that took a historic win at the 24 Hours of Le Mans last year. Ferrari AF Corsa once again runs the entry this year, and it continues to feature a driver lineup of Alessandro Pierre Guidi, James Collado, and former F1 driver Antonio Giovinazzi. Next, we have the second SC63 on this list. This is the number 63 car, but in fact, this is the only Lamborghini racing full-time in hypercar. Like the other car, which will make a Le Mans appearance, this number 63 Lamborghini will be run by Iron Lynx. The lineup for this entry includes Mirko Bordalotti, Danny Kvyat, and Eduardo Martara. Debuting in hypercar this year is the number 83 Ferrari. This is a customer 499P from AF Corsa. Delivery on this car is totally different to the other two Ferraris. It primarily uses the color yellow. This makes it easy to spot the difference between the factory and the customer Ferraris. This number 83 Ferrari sees an exciting lineup of drivers pilot the car this year. This lineup includes Robert Kubica, who is a Formula One Grand Prix winner, Robert Schwartzman, and Yifi Yi. Returning to hypercar this season is the French auto manufacturer Peugeot. And if you're wondering where that rear wing is, that's coming at the second round of the WEC at the six hours of Imola. The number 93 Peugeot 9X8 hypercar will continue to be run by Peugeot Sport Total Energies. The drivers for the entry this year will be Jean-Eric Verne, Mikkel Jensen, and Nico Mueller. Meanwhile, the sister 9X8 hypercar, the number 94 entry, will have the driver lineup of Paul D'Aresta, Luik Duval, and Stuffel Van Dorn. Now, before moving on, I do want to mention that we may see another Porsche 963 at Le Mans exclusively. This is the entry known as the number 78 Porsche 963. This would be from Proton Competition, and it already has jean Maria Bruni as one of the drivers confirmed. However, that car is on the reserve list for Le Mans, but it's first in line, so that means if a car drops out, that number 78 Porsche will be on the grid for Le Mans. If the number 78 car doesn't race, there's still good news as Proton Competition already has another Porsche on the grid. This is the number 99 entry. It's also run by Proton, as the German team raced the Porsche from the six hours of Monza last year until the end of the season. The driver lineup consists of Harry Tinknell, Neil Johnny, and Julian Andlauer. We started this list with Cadillac and we'll end with Cadillac. This is the number 311 Wheelin Engineering V Series R. This entry will race at Le Mans exclusively. This is the Action Express Racing entry that won the IMSA GTP Championship in 2023. Pipo Dorani and Jack Aiken are the only two drivers confirmed to race this car at Le Mans in 2024. So that's a quick recap of all the hypercars racing in the WEC in 2024. We will see 19 entries on the full season grid and up to 24 hypercars in the top category at Le Mans. Which entry are you backing as we head into the 2024 season? As always, let me know all your thoughts down in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, I highly suggest you do so, considering I make endurance racing content mainly on WEC and IMSA every single week. And if you want to see another video, check out the options on the screen. So for now, that's it from me. I'll see you all in the next video.